Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial and this episode, we are covering another important aspect of testing called as use cases. Now, of course, that's just not limited to testing. It can be used for many other purposes within a software development lifecycle. Now, what exactly a use case is all about? Use case basically is a real-time interaction of between user and the system. When a user interacts with a product or an application, how exactly user will be, you know, interact and feed in the inputs and what system will respond to user for each and every single activity which is performed will be documented in a form of use case. Now, use case generally should have only one main path. For example, if I'm talking about an ATM software and I'm looking forward to check different options like withdrawing money or making a mini statement or getting a balance inquiry, then one use case only talks about one particular main path. Why we are talking saying uh, talking about one main path? Because when a user interacts with the system, of course, the menu option shows a lot of options and the menu, right? Now, of course, a user will select only one option there. Now, that's what we are talking about. When the use case is created, it should only have one main path, whereas all the other alternatives must be clearly identified. That means, like for example, if a use case is written for withdrawing money from ATM, then the uh, other options in the menu option should be clearly identified, like balance inquiry use case two, uh, getting pin, pin, uh, mini statement as balance uh, use case three, and so on. Now that's what a uh, use case is all about. Of course, use cases are very helpful in order to determine the integration test cases or system test cases. In fact, to a certain extent, the acceptance or business flow testing as well. These use cases, as it shows the real-time interaction between the product and the user, will definitely help you to find real scenario issues as well. Like you generally create personas in order to run those tests and see that what happens if a real user interacts with the product. Because most of the time being technical, you intend yourself towards looking into the technical clauses. But very limited time you look from a user perspective point of view. So use cases will not only make you understand that what could be the real time interaction of a user with this product, but also will help you determine and find issues related to the real time interaction of the product with the user. Well, that's all I just wanted to share you with respect to the use cases. Of course, this is not all. This is just a simple definition. There's more to explore about use cases. So that's all from this particular episode team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.